So now we actually need to find a linear model. So the linear model we're going to use is based off of y equals mx plus b, the slope-intercept formula that you're familiar with. Um, although for statistics, we tend to flip-flop where the mx and the b are, so it's more like y equals b plus mx. And then actually when we list it as our regression equation, we use different variables. So y equals a plus bx is the traditional regression equation, which it's just your y equals mx plus b formula flipped around with letters changed. So let's talk about the parts of this formula. The first part I want to talk about is x, the independent variable. It's just the input. So if we were doing the parking permit equation, we want to predict how many parking permits are going to be needed in 2020, then we would plug in input of 20 for our x variable to find out how many parking permits are going to be purchased. That means y is our dependent variable, so the output. For us, the letter A is a constant, and if you think about it, it's y-intercept, right? When you have y equals mx plus b, b, the constant, is your intercept, but for us, we're actually using the letter A. And the last one, the regression coefficient is B. Now, even though this says regression coefficient, it's not the correlation coefficient R. This is different. It's a regression coefficient, which is basically your slope. At what rate, as your input changes, is your output increasing or decreasing? So remember, it can be positive or negative. So in terms of finding A and B, we have these two formulas listed below. And if you'll notice, the numerators are pretty different. But hopefully you've noticed you have the exact same denominator in both formulas. They're identical. It doesn't even switch x's and y's. So once you find a single denominator, you found the other denominator.